DaVinci Resolve is an incredibly robust software that comes with a multitude of templates straight out of the box. However, if you're looking to add a bit more oomph to your videos, incorporating more motion graphics is the way to go. This can include titles, overlays, backgrounds, transitions, and other animated elements. But, to be honest, high-quality motion graphics are quite hard to find for DaVinci Resolve, especially compared to something like Premiere Pro or Final Cut. To give you an example, here's a title pack I've got for cheap on some sale, and it doesn't even stretch properly, resulting in black frames or those frustrating media offline issues. Sure, you might have heard about motion VFX, whose motion graphics are top-notch, and I've even purchased two packs for myself. However, their pricing is far from affordable. We are talking over $100 for around 100 elements. So we are stuck between choosing poor quality for cheap or good quality for an exorbitant price, right? Nope, not anymore. Today we are going to dive deep into a graphics pack designed specifically to supercharge your DaVinci Resolve experience. It features over 2200 elements and doesn't cost a fortune. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Toko Graphics Pack, designed by MotionCam, is a true game changer for video editors, and here's why. It contains a mind blowing 2250 high quality graphics elements. This is probably the largest collection you can find out there for the pinch result. These graphics are easy to use, fully resizable, support any resolution up to 4K, and scale to the duration you set. And we are not talking just visuals here. This graphics pack comes with 600 categorized sound effects to add that extra layer of depth to your videos. What makes Toko graphics pack stand out is the ease of installation thanks to a dedicated installer both for Windows and Mac OS. A brief note before we begin. I want to acknowledge that I have received this pack for free from MotionCam, who are also kindly sponsoring this video. However, they have granted me a complete autonomy over the content and the tone of my review. Honestly though, had I come across this pack by myself, I wouldn't hesitate to buy it at a full price for my personal use. If you're interested in getting this pack or want more information, I highly suggest checking out the link in the description down below that will redirect you to the same website we're looking at. Even at a regular $69 it's a complete steal considering the value you are getting from this pack. If you scroll down, you will see the previews of what's included. However, as not all previews are animated, I will include a link in the description to a web page with all the animated previews, so you can check them out. The file size is over 2 GB as you can see here, and the Finch Resolve version 17 or later is required. This pack works both with Studio and free versions of DaVinci Resolve. Future pack updates are included for free and no extra plugins are required. First, we'll need to install the fonts, and this is very important to do prior to the pack installation itself, so all the previews are shown in DaVinci Resolve correctly. Download and unzip the pack archive. In the readme.pdf, click all fonts in one archive link. Unzip the archive and download five more fonts one by one using links from the corresponding folder. Unzip those five fonts into the same folder. If you're using Mac, open font book, select file, add fonts and point to the folder you've unzipped all fonts to. For Windows, in this folder, search for .ttf files, select all, right-click and hit install. After that, do the same for .altf. Next step, open Toko installer folder and double-click the installation file. Follow the on-screen instructions. Good, one last step is to add glitch overlays and uh, sound effects media files to the Finch Resolve Power Beams so they are available for all your projects. Open the Finch Resolve on the edit page, drag and drop extra materials folder, 
onto the project master bin and from there drag it onto the power beans master folder. If you don't see power beans, click three dots here and activate power beans. Now you can rename the folder to something like Toco. Once the package and fonts are installed, open DaVinci Resolve, activate Effects tab on the edit page, expand the title section and you'll see Toco Graphics 4.0. Scroll down to access the entire library of graphics. To preview the element, just hover the cursor over it. If you don't see a preview, click three dots up here and activate Live Media Preview. Now let's take this graphics pack for a test drive. I'll walk you through a setup process and we'll explore some of the motion graphics and sound effects. By the way, all the motion graphics you saw previously in this video are from Toko Graphics Pack. Let's start with transitions. In the Effects tab, head to Video Transitions, Toko Transitions. Select the one you like, drag and drop it in between two clips. Now switch to Inspector tab for customizations. Moving on to Titles, open the Titles, Toko Graphics, Titles in the Effects library. Drag and drop onto the timeline, adjust duration. In the Inspector tab, adjust the text and the overall look. Simple as that. Now let me demonstrate the Animation Auto Resize feature. I'll drag and drop this typography preset onto 16x9 4K timeline. Now if I change the project settings to, say, 1080x1080 1080 Instagram post, the animation will resize to fit into the new project size automatically. I can change the size one more time to a vertical video aspect ratio and boom, it auto-resizes perfectly one more time. I absolutely love these gorgeous backgrounds that are located in background tab under titles. They are infinitely looped and easily customizable. A little trick here, if you would like to make the animation slower, stretch it further away, select and create a new compound clip. Now change the clip speed to something like 50%. Oh, and certainly don't miss the beautiful gradients included in the pack. Glitch overlays and elements come with built-in SFX. When you drag the glitch element onto the timeline, SFX will be added as well. For other elements, you'll need to add as a fix manually. Replacing screen contents of device mockups will require some fusion, but no worries, there's nothing too complicated. Here I've added a device template onto the timeline and I would like to change the phone content. Right-click onto the clip, open in Fusion. Double-click the animation group to expand it. Here's a designated placeholder node. Drag the video from a media pool onto it. To change the video's position and size, click the Transform node underneath and adjust the parameters in the Inspector tab. Okay, obviously there are lots and lots of elements here and their complete demonstration would take forever. Once again, if you would like to check out the contents of the pack, head to the description and use the links over there. MotionCam have also made sure to provide support for the Pinch Resolve iPad version, so you can keep editing on the go without any compromises. Soko Graphics Pack comes with a detailed guide on how to install the iPad version and basically it comes down to copy-paste. After the installation, all the Toco Graphics presets are available either in Transitions tab
4 in the text tab. However, on the iPad version there are no categories and all the elements are just here in the list, which is not so convenient. Sadly, Blackmagic Design seemed to have broken the app completely, and as soon as I try to add something onto the timeline, DaVinci Resolve just crashes. Maybe it's something to do with uh, the fact that it's the cheapest iPad, I don't know. I've tried reinstalling the app, resetting the iPad, nothing helps. My apologies for not providing the footage of for this graphic pad working on an iPad. That's the only iPad I got and uh, I hope this will be fixed soon. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. These graphics come from Toco Pack as well. Should you have any questions left, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next video.